Hi guys! Today we are talking about concealing under eye circles. And I know that we've talked about dark circles before. You guys have seen me try to cover them with lipstick. Yes, I know, red lipstick. Seems really weird, but it works surprisingly well. Uh, but it has its drawbacks. So today I wanted to tackle this topic again because I found an amazing product that works just incredibly. So I just want to start with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. And I want to say that I am not compensated for this. I'm not affiliated with Becca in any way. I just happen to really, really appreciate this product and I bought it probably two weeks ago and it's been really great for me. I have some allergies going on, which you guys may be able to tell from my voice. And today I noticed that my uh, dark circles are a little bit worse than they normally are and I don't like that. So. I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you how good this stuff is because I've got some nice dark circles to work with. So I started with my usual face of makeup and it's important to recognize that concealer goes on on top of your foundation and that will give you the best concealed look. If you're putting it on underneath your foundation then as you're blending you're kind of removing it and you, you notice when you put your concealer on initially whatever blemish or whatever you're trying to cover up looks really covered and, and nice. And then you go over it with a couple more products and there it is again, you can see it again. So anyway, I started with my regular makeup routine. I'll provide the links to all the products on my face right now. And now we're gonna go after these dark circles, which is the last thing that I do before I'm done if they're really bad. <laughs> So we start with either using your fingers, which is what I'm gonna use, or using your concealer brush. And it has a nice little uh, pink hue to it. And that's good on the color wheel. We talked about this before with the red lipstick post, which I'll also link to. Um, pinkish shades will cover up the dark blue, just works that way with science and how the light reflects off of it. So I have a little bit of the product and you want to dab it in place and the reason being this product is thicker and it also feels tacky and it goes on feels like on top of your skin which is really nice because that means that it's not settling into fine lines so we don't want to really swipe it across because it's too thick for that it won't look uh, very good we want to dab it on top of all the fine lines So you guys can see that it's really doing a good job of brightening it up, comparing one to the other. And then because it has a little bit of that pink undertone to it, I definitely want to follow it up with some concealer. So I've got this Bobbi Brown and I like the shade of it. I like that it has a tiny bit of a shimmer to it so it brightens up my dark circles. I also really like the NARS Creamy Concealer, and I'll provide a link to both of them. I like the NARS because it's a good formula. I like the way that it applies on the skin. And also, I like that they have a ton of shades so you can really match your skin tone because concealers are not one size fits all. You've got to match your skin tone for it to um, look right. Otherwise, you end up with big like white circles, which can make you look a little older and nobody wants that. So I'm getting rid of a little bit of the excess down here. And we do the triangle and bring it down into the cheekbone, like this, you saw me do this with the brush. And that is to blend it better. And like I said, when you have just that white circle right underneath your eye, it can make you look older. So since I mentioned that it's a little bit thicker, I'm also dabbing this product in place because if I took a big swipe across my face, which is what I did the first time I used it, I was feeling tired and I just wiped my eyes and it's going to smudge it because it is a thicker product, which makes it amazing as far as its ability to cover under eye circles, but you don't really want to mess with it very much after you've got it in place and it looks perfect. So I have a little bit of translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier. 
and I'm just getting a little bit on the brush, getting the excess off. And again, I'm just gonna dab it to set it. And there you have it. You can see the difference, what a difference that makes. Even if I put myself into the shadow lighting, you can see that this eye is definitely not as bad or as dark as this eye. And if I pull it down so you can really see the dark circles, it's made a huge difference. So um, try it out. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, hop on over to the Lexicon blog, especially if you're watching on YouTube because I do a lot more than videos. So check out thelexicon.co and remember to like and follow. Bye guys.